So it's January 91st here in uh, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Um, been trying as hard as I can to work on my carburetor issue whenever I get a chance. I'm actually kind of wondering if how much of this is going to go out the window and have to be redone when I'm running it at regular summer temperatures. I mean, it's only been, I mean, it's been 10 degrees above freezing is the best we've had all year and we get snow and I can't test. Anyway, it's, it's all been, it's all been lots of fun, but here's where I'm at right now. I was able to get information from the tech line that the power valve channel restrictor is an 059 size. I'm currently running a 65 primary jet. And what I decided to do was just stick as close as I could to the six jet spread that the carb came with factory. So I've got a 72 jet in the secondary. Now I'm going to go out and test that, but what I did just before that, I went and I watched a video from Tall John's Fun Shop regarding the size of your secondary jets when you've only got the power valve and the primary. The guy, he hit the nail on the head. When you hear him out and you listen to him talk, it just absolutely makes sense. Of course, you're going to want the same, basically the same size jet in the front or in the back. The only difference is, fortunately, with the power valve in the front, it can come in progressively and you're still able to kind of have your cake and eat it too by being able to have fairly decent, leaner cruise AFR and still be able to get all the fuel you need when you're, when you're on it. So anyway, according to Tall John's math, I should have about a 75 or a 76 jet in the back. So we're gonna test that. I've got a 76 jet in my little stash. So what I'm gonna do as soon as I can, I'm gonna go out, test it with the 72 jet. And this is all only gonna be seat of the pants testing just so that I know how it feels and how it pulls and whatnot like that. But you're gonna get what you're gonna get. And we'll get to the track when the track opens and we'll get some actual AFR numbers when that comes about for me too. Mexico we're gonna do a little uh, acceleration test just to see where my carb is and where my jets are at everything's up to nice temperature about 155 degrees according to my according to my gauge so let's just see what happens here I'm not gonna work too hard about the, the dig but uh, let's see what happens
bit of steam there. That could be a combination of things. It could be running out of fuel up there. Or I know I should have more valve spring in this thing. So the easy test is to uh, throw a couple more numbers of jet at it and see where that brings me. But so far, at least I'm 100% confident that I'm going in the right direction. So I feel real good about uh, the progress that I'm making. I, I know it's slow. I'm just trying to share some updates whenever I can get a chance. Before what was happening at about 4,500 RPM, it would stumble and fart and, and just completely lose power. Now it's revving clean to 5,000 where I shifted it. I don't know how much higher it would go. If it would, um, suffering from some pretty small valves and pretty small passages in my heads with them little 318 heads. Um, and I do, like I mentioned before, I've not got enough valve spring in it. Now, I don't know if that's my problem or not. All this stuff's new to me. So what, what the lack of valve spring would cause, I know it would cause valve float, but as far as how to identify valve float, that's, that's just something that's new to me. So my next step, will be to go to a 76 jet in the secondary side as was recommended previously um i'm so happy with the way it's running just around town and uh it's just it's it's really nice so that that part of it's good if i can square it up with using the recommendations from tall john that's what i'm gonna do so beyond this a uh, couple other things once i think i've got the carburetor as good as i can get it i will look i'll i'll revisit my timing i'll look at possibly changing out those valve strings i have them i just haven't taken the time to uh to put them in so that's that's just me being lazy or being busy or a combination of the two but uh anyway I really, really want to get this thing optimized as good as it can be for what it is. I know it's never going to be a screaming demon or nothing like that. It's it's a 318. But I know it could, should be better than it is. Coming up on the 7th of May is our first test and tune here locally. So I'm super excited to get out for that. And I want to be as ready as I can be. Maybe I'll take a couple more trips to Mexico. I definitely will take a couple more trips to Mexico to uh, test out the different things that I'm doing. I, I, I never realized how, how actually close Mexico is to my house. It's, it makes things a whole lot nicer. Anyway, appreciate anybody's comments, any ideas about what I might be doing right, what I might be doing wrong. Stick around. There'll be lots more... Uh, fun and stupidity and whatever else if nothing else you guys can giggle about all the stuff i don't know thanks for watching mm -hmm.